Hello. I think that making a video like this has been a long time coming. There was a time a while back when I decided I'd start making YouTube videos as little more than a side hobby for my own entertainment. And really up until this week, that has been the case. For those of you who still don't know, I have not made a single dime from YouTube. I have made nothing. No money at all, not a single cent. This has been, in every sense of the word, a labor of a hobbyist, or just something that's among my list of proclivities. It's been for poops and giggles. However, all of that is changing. I've spoken to other YouTubers that I respect and enjoy, and from what I understand, to a degree, in, in a sense, I'd be foolish to continue not taking advantage from the sweat of my brow here on YouTube any longer. This is a potentially huge step forward in my life. One that I didn't see coming when I began this, let alone just a year ago. This YouTube channel of mine has grown into something I never imagined it would. 215,000 subscribers. That's, that's a level of success and size that I never thought would be possible. I used to look up to channels like the inspiration for my own channel, Blackbuster Critic, and think they were huge. Surpassing them and many who came before me, it's honestly something that is, it's, it's surreal in a way. I still don't think the fact I have a channel this size has fully registered in my brain yet. If it seems like I'm an amateur on the internet in terms of ugh, all the things that go into making channels and running them, it's because I really am. I don't do community management, and I don't run a Discord server. I don't run off to advertisers or seek out frivolous partnerships to compromise my integrity. I don't join these grand clicks of the YouTube elite or do any of that stuff. I'm just a doggo making videos. That's it. That really is all there is to it. But I think it is time for me to move this forward. Just this week... I have enabled monetization on this YouTube channel. In fact, it's been so recent that I still don't even know how much is coming my way thanks to the viewership of you, my audience. So with the publishing of this video, I will be opening up a Patreon account. Partnering with YouTube to enable an AdSense account on the videos that I make there, it's something, but the fickle nature of Google's whims doesn't leave me in a place where I would comfortably rely on that by itself. Not only that, but I would like to be in a position where I obtain my financial support through the donations and the generosity of the people who enjoy my content. I want to avoid a number of things. Firstly, I want to avoid having to go to specific advertisers or publishers or companies in order to accept sponsorships or partnerships with them that might, in, you know, compromise my integrity. There have been channels in the past that I have grown distant from because of these kinds of issues, if I can be candid about things. I like to think that I'm amazing enough, perhaps, and armored well enough to resist these kinds of urges and temptations, regardless of where I put my shoes. I'm opening up this Patreon so that I can be supported from my viewers who are all very beautiful and with very large penises. I have a full-time job. And honestly, I do end up working a bit more than that in terms of hours. It's just the nature of the beast, I suppose. What I do, I've never considered important or relevant, and I still don't. I want to spend less time there and more time here, sitting on my gorgeous asshole while making content and interacting more with my audience. My goal is to be supported by you, the viewers, and my own work. I think this will do a few things for me. Mostly, it will keep me beholden to all of you in a sense. It will mean that if my quality lapses, if my arguments falter, if I begin to slack in or turn into something I shouldn't be, then it will hit me and I'll see the results of that. I want to be at least a decent person. Not too much of an asshole, or at least someone who can channel that assholery towards something productive. Much like how a politician should ideally be beholden to his voters, so too do I want to be reliant on my audience, you. If being honest and fair is what I'm being supported for, in a purely cynical outlook, this will be a reason for me to keep it up. And of course, it will disincentivize temptations 
to accept money from companies for good reviews or things of that like. That being said, one of the reasons that I enjoy having such a large audience is that I like making recommendations to people based on my own experience. People ask me all the time what things I like, what products I use, what stuff works best for me. If something is good for me, and I think it will be good for you in the audience, if it's a good deal, if it is what it says it is, and that will help you, then I will recommend it. However, when it comes to the promotion of stuff, I'm setting for myself some obvious, basic ground rules to make sure that I'm not biased and that I do the best thing for my audience. Firstly, I will not and do not accept money as a reward for good reviews, period. A product should stand upon its own merits, a game, a GPU, a peripheral, anything. If you have to pay me to make a good review, don't waste your time and don't waste mine. Secondly, I will never, ever, 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 ever sign a non-disparagement clause. Never, never, ever. This is not negotiable. I will not suppress my own opinions to promote anything, ever. If a company or a promoter ever comes to me and says that I'm not allowed to speak ill of something, I promise you that I will not be having any cooperation with that entity. Thirdly, I have to use it. I have to see it. I have to consume it. If you want me to review a chair, you'd better send it to me so I can get my asshole in it. If you want to review on a game, you'd better send it to me so that I can play it. If you want to review on a service, you'd better sign me up and let me try it out for myself. If I cannot personally use what you're giving me, well then I can't honestly give it a full recommendation personally. And fourth, disclosure for promotional content will always, always, always be made obvious. Like with my Titanfall 2 video a while back, the fact it was sent to me by EA will be clear as crystal so as not to give any wrong impressions or hide any relevant information. Helen Keller will be able to find these disclosures if her hands were tied behind her back. Understand that there's a lot of things out there that I want to recommend, and I might reach out to companies in order to work something out. For instance, uh, Zotac is a company whose GPUs that I've used, and they've been nothing but reliable, and they've worked flawlessly for me, both of the ones that I have. So I might reach out to Zotac and say, hey, your stuff's really good. It's worked fantastically for me. It, I want to recommend it to my audience. So send me a 1080 Ti Amp Extreme, and I'll recommend it to people if it's good. Send me one. I'll use it. If it is good, I will recommend it. If you guys have any problems with things like this, let me know in the comments section. I'm trying to get a feel of what kind of things you're comfortable with. Contact me on Twitter, write a comment down below in the comment section here on YouTube. Let me know what you think. I want to get feedback on all this. I want to hear what you have to say about a Patreon, about ads, about things of that nature. I think I'm putting myself in a position where I'm being as clear and transparent as I possibly can for you guys. I want to be honest and I will be honest with you. But what you guys think about it is also important to me as well. If you have concerns, please let me know. I do have an email as well in my YouTube description there that you can check out if you need it. From a purely cynical standpoint, I can make more money from you guys if I interact with you and if I listen to you and if I'm going back and forth with you guys. But, if there's anything that I have noticed from growing like this on YouTube, there, there is a certain intimacy almost in having a smaller community where you recognize everyone and you know who people are and you talk with them regularly. The, well, the, the bad part about growing, even though it's good to have a big channel, I think, the negative aspect is that maybe the people that you always listen to and could get into contact with and that you always recognized in comment sections or on Twitter eventually kind of get drowned out by the crowd, and it just takes more time to interact with these people. And losing some of that has not been the greatest. So I want to do what I can to ensure that longtime fans or dedicated audience members or people who really enjoy me and my stuff can get in touch with me and I can reply to them. Like I said, I, I really am an amateur at this sort of thing and I want to do right by you. And I may not be the best at it or perfect at it, but 
I'd like to try and get as good as time permits. And that ultimately is really the goal of all this. To help myself by making this channel something that is well, more of just a hobby. I want to be able to free up time away from my job so I don't have to come home tired and catch up on sleep or if I want to do anything else. Now I have more time to spend here. I have more time to spend with my life, not with working at a full-time job. The money that I make from Patreon accounts will be used as income, basically, and I'll use it for what I use it for. It's to get me a replacement for what I would make at a full-time job. Now, the Patreon itself does not currently have any goals or milestones listed. This is by design. What the idea here is, is that I want to have this running for a month or two months. I want to gauge and see what the reaction to it will be before I back myself into the proverbial corner or before I commit to something that will become just impractical to do. That is, if I even add goals or rewards at all. I may just pull a Sargon of Akkad route and use it as a way for me to stay funded by an audience and not by advertisers, or taking money from promotions. A lot of people have said if I can just use this to make more content, they would be happy with it. Others have brought up things like maybe having hangouts or doing things of that nature. I'm not certain yet. This is the kind of response and feedback that I want from you guys. I want to see what you would prefer, what things you have in mind. If you want to keep updated on the things that I'm thinking or uh, messages of this sort, then do follow me on Twitter. I mean, I mostly use it for st stupid shit posting, but I also put updates there as well. And it's probably the easiest and best way to get into contact me if you have something to say. And really the primary reason I'm doing all this is so that I can make more content and I can spend more time interacting with my audience. And doing research, that sort of thing. Stuff for YouTube. That's why I'm doing all this. I want to get away from a full-time job that I've gone to for a while, and I want to kind of move into something different, something I think I'll enjoy more. So again, if you have any concerns, questions, uh, suggestions, comments, please let me know. I really want feedback in all of this. Whitelist my channel on YouTube if you'd like. Um, donate to my Patreon if you have just, even if it's just a buck, or two bucks, or a thousand bucks. Go for it, at your own discretion, of course. But thanks for watching, and I will see you guys soon, because right now, I will be contemplating my thoughts on Overwatch. Won't that be fun? Roadhog's a cunt.